Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Um, well, today I have been out a lot of the time. I went out this morning trying to get some iron wool. Now I went to the few places around where I live and Hobbycraft, I think was the last place I went to. There's no way I'm paying the prices they ask for the wool in that shop. It was disgusting. <laughs> they kind of seem to get, I've been looking on the internet, I've been on the internet for hours just trying to to get what I want. And um, one of the ladies, Claudette, once read, read in Aaron for the cardigan that she wants. And I've looked around for, just for what I could find in the red, red Aaron. But the prices and hobby craft was just disgusting. I just was not going to pay that for for what they. So I came back home and I've been on the internet for probably a couple of hours looking around all different places and um, Lovecraft, Derrimores and Mariners. And, and then I thought, I wonder if I try knitting two strands of double knitting together, which is what I have been doing this afternoon. And look the bones on the floor. So I have a couple of balls of this. I've been knitting two strands of that together. Just just testing it. Um, this is Mariner's Mariner's yarn. There's two different types of Mariner's. This is the Mariner's a little bit more expensive one. I think it's one pound twenty five of all this one. And these are the cheaper, cheaper ones are a pound of all these ones. And they do have red in it. They did have 400 gram balls of um, iron on mariners. But it was a mixture of acrylic and wool. And I won't get that because I don't know about other people, but I cannot wear anything with wool in it. It's... I don't think it's not an allergy. I think it's just um, an irritation and I just itch all the time. So I can't wear anything like that. So I wouldn't get that for anybody else as well unless I particularly asked for it. So I've been testing, doing a little bit. I've got these all tied up when I picked them up here. <laughs> get that bit out because I've took them off the needles. Uh, I've been testing this, the, um, the iron yarn that I have knitted with, I knitted on 5mm needles. Well, I started this bit off on 5mm, knitting two strands together, and it's quite stiff. So I went on to 5.5mm needles a bit further up, and it still felt, didn't feel soft, you know, it was still a bit stiff now. So I went on to six millimetre needles and this one would have to do on six millimetre. So knitting two strands together doesn't make Aaron. It is a little bit thicker than Aaron, but it's not as thick as chunky. So I can probably work it out. But anyway, that's that's the um the Diera brand that I tried. And then I tried it with the, the cheaper one. Not quite as many rows, um, but I started off the same with this one with the um, the five and then went on to the the five and a half and then on to the six. And this one feels a lot better. It's softer. It was a bit stiff down at the bottom here when I first started it, but it's a bit softer up here. And then I put it up against the, the other one I had been doing. And as you can see, this one, the cheaper one, must be a lot finer than the other one. That's probably why it feels softer. So that one is actually better to knit two strands together. Because you can see the difference on the, um, the side. About two stitches difference, actually. So instead of about... Um, 
five stitches to the inch this one's going to be four stitches to the inch so i'll probably have to arrange the pattern a little bit but um both the ladies that i'm knitting these for there's another lady as well as claudette and janet um they are both quite a large size and they're larger than what the pattern actually says and i did have to do the it's the same pattern i'm doing for claudette as what i did before for her in the um the black iron it was and i did have to alter the pattern a little bit to make it fit because um, the pattern doesn't go up to their size <laughs> and janet's a little bit larger as well so that would probably be better knitting um in in this because i can probably use the largest size but using number of stitches because this one there's not so many stitches to the um to the inch which makes make it come out a little bit larger so that's what i've decided to do um with this i'm going to buy some of the red and janet did want cream originally but you like the um the mixy wool the king cola i've been doing but the iron and that is very expensive and it's going to cost a hell of a lot more for a <laughs> cardigan. The balls of those, the balls of the um, the Aaron and the one that she, um, she mentioned is actually nearly five pound a ball. I think it's about four pound seventy something. I couldn't see any. Um, Sandra did just send me an email and just mentioned that um, the price of a four hundred gram ball, but even that's a lot more than. What I would pay normally so I think I might just do I might do the cream I'll message Janet and tell her I'll probably do the cream for her because I can't get the the mixy color in the iron that you would like I have tried all over I've been everywhere on the internet as well and they just don't seem to do them like the um the, the mixy colors the um the paler pastel shades in the iron all seem to be darker darker ones but anyway i got sick of looking around the shops and then coming home and i got sick of looking on the um the internet and i haven't done a bit of knitting at all and it's now time almost 2 15 in the afternoon so I'm going to put this away. I'm going to pull this little bit out and put these balls back again because these are sets of balls I have um, in my stock room upstairs. So that's a little bit, a little bit for today. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, make myself a sandwich because I haven't had no lunch either because I've been on that flaming computer all morning. And then I'll get down to a little bit knitting. My Aunt Angela's cardigan. I might get a little bit more done of that. But um, I do have a, um, the other lady in America, Dagri. She did send me um, links to a couple of uh, patterns that uh, she wants me to do. And one of them is a, um, a cardigan which is in chunky. So I'm going to have to sort chunky out for, um, for hers when I get round to it as well. So... That's just my little bit for today, so thumbs up and subscribe and bye for now.